guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's African Queen Grace. Today I'm still in Kisi. I'm exploring what Kisi has to offer. And as you can see, today we are in Kisi Banana Processing Plant. We are going to see what products they have. We are going to see how they have brought value addition to just with the normal plantains that we are used to eating. So shortly we are going to walk in and uh, meet the people who are in charge of this place and then they can tell us more. So remember to subscribe, share with your friends, um, spread the word. There are good things and there's value addition in even the plantations that we have which are cash crops that we are using. So let's go in and see more. This is where they process everything. And so we're going to meet our host for today who is going to tell us more about how they process the banana plant. Um, hi, Thank you. how are you? Yes, my name is Kara uh, Tomiso of Nandora Banana Processors. Uh, we are thinking of working in banana farming in both Kisi and Mira County. Mm -hmm. So we process various products out of the bananas, uh, which uh, products are from the cooking banana varieties and flattening banana varieties. At the same time, we utilize the waste to obtain viper, viper and pari. Uh, this pari fruit, uh, this viper is used uh, around the textile industry. At the same time, the pari is used along the textile. The, let me, the, let the me take you back them. so that people understand. So this is the banana. Yes. yes. So now take us through from when we have this banana, how does it translate to what we are having on the table? So what happens? But you can just explain to us if you're okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, we process when we talk about the bananas. Mm -hmm. uh, as I have said, we have got uh, some sub, sub, sub varieties of bananas that is cooking banana varieties mm -hmm. and ripening banana varieties. Mm -hmm. The cooking banana varieties, the first thing that we do is to peel the bananas. Mm -hmm. Then we put it into a solution of sodium metal sulfate, which is a food grade preservative. Mm -hmm. After that, the chips, which has been uh, cut into small slices, are dried on the solar dry or rather direct dried. Mm -hmm. Then later on, we mill into flour. These flowers are used to make the second generation products like uh, flaps, mm -hmm. uh, cookies, mm -hmm. and even mandas. Is this the flour you're talking about? Yes. Is this part of it? So I can see here we have, uh, maybe the camera can come and zoom in. There is pure flour. Yeah. There is com uh, complementary this is, this banana. This is different. Uh, so this is just the flour, this one? Y yes. Uh-huh. So this flour can be used to as an instant banana flour, mm -hmm. whereby you used to, the, to make, we used to make the second generation products mm -hmm. like uh, uh, the mandasi, the plate, and uh, in most cases it is used around as a side of like banana flour. Okay. So how do we get? Like I can see you have wine here. Maybe if you take us through the products up to the end, maybe from here. And explain how this is uh, variation. So, as I have said, the mm -hmm. cooking banana varieties mm -hmm. uh, we use uh, to make uh, key knowledge products like uh, flour, mm -hmm. and this flour is used for, uh, to make second generation products. Mm -hmm. At the same time, the cooking banana varieties we just use to make banana creases. Mm -hmm. uh, still, we slice the bananas after peeling, uh, then we deep fry. They are packed as crisps. Let me ask you, sorry for, 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 for the sake of our viewers, you, you, when you get, you know, this is a raw banana. Yes. So you just slice and then you deep fry. Mm. A, you leave it until it ripens. I'm just asking. Uh, no. It doesn't ripen? No. We, oh. just, the, we just use it the way uh, they use uh, the, the, the English potatoes mm. to make chips. Ah, I, I get you, I get you. Yeah, yeah. So you deep fry once it is dry, then you pack them there, yeah. and then people can come and buy. Yeah. Great. Lastly, mm -hmm. uh, we have got the technology by the name vacuum seedings. Mm -hmm. 
whereby the, the bananas can be sliced, can be peeled. After peeling, we sear it with the vacuum machine. Mm -hmm. These bananas can stay fresh for around six months mm -hmm. when frozen mm -hmm. or in the uh, freezer, mm -hmm. or rather, can be taken to Nairobi. It will take around six days being uh, peeled. Mm -hmm. So, some producers interested to cook minus peeling, mm -hmm. now the bananas are ready for cooking. Great. That is the cooking banana varieties. Mm -hmm. Then we have got uh, another category of bananas, mm -hmm. that is uh, the ripening banana varieties. Mm -hmm. uh, we have got uh, uh, ripening chambers, ripening lax, and ripening chamber. Mm -hmm. The bananas, when, uh, uh, when the, the farmers uh, supply us the bananas, we make sure that uh, the bananas are green. We put it into the lac. Then we 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 we, we light a candle. The, the, the smoke uh, squares the chlorophyll of the bananas. Mm -hmm. Then the bananas instantly start ripening. Mm -hmm. That the smoke of the candle. Yes. Oh. So, but if we are interested to use the ripening chamber, mm -hmm. then definitely we are doing the the avocado. Mm -hmm. Then. After two or three days, the bananas are ready for processing. Let me maybe simplify what he means by ripening chamber. Is munajua when you munachuanga nizi munafunika kwa gunia na karatasi. So that is what he's referring to as the ripening chamber. It's just a place which is uh, away from light and it is uh, covered well so that it hastens the, the speed of ripening. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, the next thing now is uh, to peel the bananas. Mm -hmm. We make industrial puree. Oh. Uh, then they are transported to the Just see that. Now we are able to process the uh, banana puree. Mm -hmm. These purees can be used in very many ways. Either by making banana trees, banana nectar, or banana wine. Great. So that is the wine we are seeing in the bottle. Yes. All right. So as I have said, after leveling the bananas, now we have got a, a wide range of products that we manufacture from the leveling uh, banana puree. Mm -hmm. One is banana wine. The second one is banana vinegar. Banana. Oh, banana vinegar. Yes. The third is banana sambu and lastly banana ethanol. Wow. So all those are four products yeah. ready from the puree. Yeah. We have not really my friend into banana here, whereby you mix cereals with the banana uh, puree, then you make banana here. We have really not really friend at into it. So it is maybe in the future. Yeah. Okay. But for now. Those are the uh, uh, products we make or along from the banana puree. Mm -hmm. At the same time... How long does it uh, take to, to, to be in the banana puree? Like, how, what is the period? It's around uh, two to three hours. Oh, okay. Uh, but the wine has to take around uh, 21 days to around six months. So let me just ask, because I know that uh, some people uh, say that the, the more the wine stays, the better it is in yeah. terms of taste. Is it the same for this? Yes. For example, the one you see in the table has got a lifespan of six months. Mm. Yeah. So you can buy it and actually store it and uh, drink it even one year down the line. Absolutely. Oh, nice. Yes. Secondly, after ripening the bananas, we cut them into smaller slices. Uh, the way we slice the cooking banana varieties. Mm -hmm. Then we put it into a freezer. They stay there for around 12 hours. After that, it is like they are frozen. 
So the next step now is to put on a solar drive. Mm -hmm. They are dried, we meet and we make uh, instant uh, banana flower, like banana flower. This banana flower now, they are eatable and it's very sweet. So, these flowers now can be used in very many ways. To start with, we can make military rations. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know that like there's only some biscuits. Yes. Oh, this is more than oh. Yeah. So, the biscuits are manufactured inside here mm -hmm. from this uh, banana flower. Secondly, this flower is ready to eat. Very sweet. At the same time, we mix with the soil and the milk powder mm -hmm. or other eggs to make baby foods. Yeah. So, these caritos are what we do. And I think this is one of the technology that which came recently. Mm -hmm. Now we are able to preserve the life and the bananas mm -hmm. under this technology. For example, if you look at this, these are the ripe bananas, mm -hmm. which later can be milled. It can take around one year. Yeah. Wow, that is really, really bad addition. That is really good. Yeah. Uh, lastly, we have got banana peels. These are the peels. Uh, it has got uh, very many things that it assist. One, we can use to make uh, the soup policy. Two, they can be used. So when you say shoe polish, is it that you can sell it to a manufacturing company? Yes. Okay. At the same time, we can use, we mill it. Uh, they are more medicinal. They assist especially those who have got ulcers in their stomach. Mm -hmm. So they are more medicinal. Uh, lastly, uh, from Western Kenya, that is uh, Kakamega, Viga, all of those regions, they 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 burn it and they make uh, what is the name of that? They make it. They make a tenderizer. Mm -hmm. So those all of those are our customers. But uh, the most recent one we get is uh, if I may say. They are those customers who come because they have got ulcers. Mm. So how do you how do you use that? You just take it, you can buy the pills and then you grind? You no, know, we have got a bosomy to oh. make sure that we have grind. Mm -hmm. Already now we have got in the powder. The powder. Oh. So they come for it. Okay. Yeah. Good. Lastly, through this technology, you realize that we have got uh, this pandemic of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Because we have got the third technology of drying the bananas, now we are able to dry ginger, uh, we are able to dry lemon, and we are able to dry ketumbu. So we mix them through one one ratio. Then we make about, it has really assisted very many people. And through the, because those customers who used it to buy the bananas, uh, we, uh, we, use it, we use this technology to assist them when we are there. Yeah. So those are basically what we do. At the same time, as I have said, we have got the technology of trying fruits and to a certain extent vegetables. Definitely, we are able to use other herbs to try. Maybe we mix with the banana flour and then it becomes more medicinal. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Now, before we let you go, can you explain to us what this complementary banana Oh, these are the military rations you're talking about. Yes. And this is banana food for the baby. Yes. And this is complementary, yeah. ready to eat for yes. healthy. Yeah. So, which one of these, or is it that uh, someone can use to make bread or make 
or many mandazi is this, this, or they buy this small packets. Which one? Oh, okay. One, mm -hmm. as I have uh, uh, given an explanation, uh, there is what we call instant banana flour and raw banana flour. Mm -hmm. Raw banana flour is the white flour. So you just use it, you mix, it's more of generic. Mm -hmm. You mix with the, the resin flour, that is the wheat flour, to make the tobu packet. That is the wheat flour. Mm -hmm. Then we have got this complementary. Mm -hmm. This complementary flour, of course you can always mix with the temp because you want the sweetness. Mm -hmm. And it's very sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can use it to make it to make porridge, to make uh, maybe ugari. Mm -hmm. You mix with the maize, maize flour. So they are more of complementary. Uh, <laughs> complementing the whole, the, the other uh, ingredients. Yes. Ah, that is what I mean. So what is your price range? Because uh, people will want to know how do they. What is your price range? I can see tissue paper here as well. Yeah. What is your price range? And then you can tell them how can they get hold of you if someone wants to put maybe a bulk order. Yeah. So, uh, as you have asked to me, uh, one thing I have to talk about the banana itself, the wheat is mm -hmm. uh, around 85% when the banana is raw, it's around, it's a, it's a, it five percent is water. Fifteen percent is the product that you get from bananas. Mm -hmm. So when we do what we call gross margin analysis, we realize that uh, at one kg of banana, we are sell it around three hundred shillings, so that we can break even. Mm -hmm. In this case, we have packed our uh, our banana flour into. Uh, 250 grams, 500, and 500 grams, and one kg uh, 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 packages. Uh, as you have asked me, we have got the ability of processing around one ton per day. So, we have got no doubt. If anybody who is interested to have this complementary flour, the flour is always available. That is the banana uh, from the row, which is uh, a white banana flour. Mm -hmm. Then we also have the lax. If you look at this one, these are lax. Mm -hmm. They are absolutely there for ripening. This lax. There are two women now mm -hmm. who are assisted by the Kenya Horticultural Competitive Project. Mm -hmm. One of them can accommodate around 25 punches, which is equivalent to 500 kgs mm -hmm. and above, which means the two lakhs can be able to accommodate around one ton. Then we have got 10 ripening chambers, which each accommodate around 30 punches of around five around six punches of bananas mm -hmm. so all of them they accommodate around 30 punches of bananas mm -hmm. which is equivalent to 600 kgs great wow you do have capacity yes so how can the which number can they call if they want to make inquiries so if you want to do an inquiry my number is zero seven Two nine fourteen sixty five thirty three or at zero seven twenty eleven thirty twenty one. Great. So before we finish, I want to go and see the mandazis for myself. But before you go, yes, I also we also have other westies. We utilize westies. Mm -hmm. uh, after working with the body green, we here is the importance of utilizing the Westies and the we have a program by the name uh, Environmental Management System. Mm -hmm. So currently we are utilizing the banana stems to obtain fiber mm -hmm. and uh, I So this pulp can be used for 
Yoga. Textile. Textile. But if we look at the, this is fuel for STEM, then definitely we will get it. Like the ones that we are putting on our head. Yes. Lastly, lastly, the pipe. It has been tested. It has gone to Kenya Bureau of Standards. So we used to make the tissue paper, some dry flowers, and supplements. So already we have taken it to Kenya Bureau of Standards and seeing a positive result. You know you've not given us your price range. Or should they get that information from you when they call? Of course, they can get, but I have to give you. So the wine which has taken to one place, as I have said, it is around 300 to 500. But the one which has got a lifespan of six months and above, we just sell it at 800 shillings. And the flower, as I have said, we have got a uh, as I said earlier, we have got uh, 250 grams, we just set it at 75. Then we have got 500, 500 grams, mm -hmm. we set it at 150. Mm -hmm. uh, one kg, we set it at 300 kilos. That is the price. Mm -hmm. But if you look at these conclusions, it goes for 300 because of the conversion ratio and the lack of time. Thank you so much. So let us go to the station of the Mandazis and then we can hear more about it. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. My name is Eldon Okaki. I do work under product processors. As you can see behind me is the KDF Aromandazi, as they used to say in the local language. Yeah, we have this KDF, which is used to, to make the mandazi, as you can see how they are arranged. Now, as they are big food like this, we are waiting them to raise and then we do take them to and we do take them to be to be cooked. So the first process what we do is that uh, we have ovens as you can see behind there and, and we have a mixing machine that which do help us in mixing the the unga. So after they have mixed the the unga, we mix. So that's when we do the 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 unga, and it is big brought here, so that it do makes the the KDF. So, so how how do you package the KDF? How many pieces do you put in a okay. packet? Thank you. We do pack for a packet six of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they go for how much, the six? The six, they do go at a price of 50 shillings. All right. Yeah. So, we want to thank you so much. Um, we are going to test the KDF. I'm going to tell you how it tests. Yeah. But for now, we are grateful for having uh, allowed us to come and support you. And guys, you can reach out to him at any time so that you can promote them and empower them because COVID has made the economy very tough, but it's the little things that we do that really can still push the you know, different industries. So thank you so much. Any final words? Uh, we are very grateful and we should be thankful if at all you sent us uh, the clip so that we can uh, also be repairing. <laughs> sure. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. As you can see this KBM and big food here. One thing is that since we are working 
with the bananas. Mm -hmm. So the banana flour, which you saw there, mm -hmm. we do mix with them, mm -hmm. banana flour, mm -hmm. and the flour of the wheat flour. Yeah, yeah. Wheat flour. So we do come up with this cake here. Yeah. So you will find it, it has some textile. Mm -hmm. So it is very sweet, mm -hmm. very soft. Mm -hmm. You can enjoy it. Great. Yeah. Great. So guys, that's all from us, uh, from the banana processing plant. Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe, share with your friends. We want people to come and enjoy the good things we have in Kisi. So from all of us, it's goodbye. Thank you. <laughs>